actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like she burns facts and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. Don't buy into the narrative that Michelle Wolf was there attacking Sarah Huckabee Sanders for her appearance. What she was doing, and you'll see it if you look at the jokes more closely, is she was attacking her for her behavior. What I think's going on here, really, is that there's a general agreement that there are some lines in comedy that you're not supposed to cross. There are some blows that are too low, and one of those blows is an attack on appearance. So the people who were upset that Michelle Wolf went out and violated this standard of decency around this stead evening with people in their tuxedos. They wanted to get her for that, and to do that, they said Michelle Wolf attacked Sarah Huckabee Sanders' appearance, and we can all agree that that's wrong. But that just isn't what happened at all. She attacked what Sarah Huckabee Sanders does every day, lying to the members of the press, lying to the very people who were in the room, and twisting it to make it look like she's attacking her appearance is kind of a sleight of hand to make a criticism that doesn't really have anything to do with the content of her jokes. At the event itself, I think journalists did a good job defending the First Amendment. The president of the association, Margaret Talov, made a speech that was respectful, but pointed out in some subtler ways how the Trump administration doesn't have a great record when it comes to the free press. What upset me was what happened after the event. To criticize her or apologize for her for speaking truth to power is bowing to power and not what the president of an association dedicated to defending the First Amendment should be all about. I think if Michelle Wolf had gone up there and acted as if everything were totally normal and given a speech that we would have seen in any year of the White House Correspondents' Dinner, that would have been weird, that would have been wrong, that would have been troubling, because things aren't normal right now. And so to go up there and do something a little out of the ordinary, do something that makes people a little uncomfortable and shakes things up, shows how shaken up things are already. It's not a comedian's job to bring people together and spread a message of unity. It's a comedian's job to tell jokes and to tell jokes that she thinks are an accurate reflection of what the world looks like today. And that is certainly what Michelle Wolf went out there and did.